Hey folks, Robbie Payne with Chrome Unbox coming at you today with a review of the Samsung Chromebook Plus. Now, as you'll note, I didn't say full review and that's because we've already done a full review of the Samsung Chromebook Pro and for better or worse, these two devices are almost the exact same between build material, keyboard, trackpad, screen. They're pretty much the same device except one thing. They have different processors and a lot of our readers and viewers have asked that we do a standalone review of the Chromebook Plus. And so we wanted to do that, but we don't want to restate all the things that we've said in the Pro review. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that, we've linked it in the description below. Take a second, go and watch it. We'll be here when you get back. Seriously, go and watch it. Now that you've taken a second and watched that review, if you hadn't already, we really just need to talk about the one really important difference between these two devices, the processor. In the Samsung Chromebook Plus, we're working with what Samsung is calling an OP1 ARM chip. We all know it's the Rock chip RK3399, but that's really not that big of a deal. What is important here is performance versus price. The Plus comes in a full $100 less than the Pro, and that's a decent amount of cash to consider. Does the ARM chip keep up well enough versus the much faster Core M3? The answer from my perspective is yes, it does. The Chromebook Plus is good enough for most people. For the folks that will use their Chromebooks to browse the web, watch some videos, shoot back a few emails, etc. The Chromebook Plus is plenty machine for the job. Sure, after a few tabs, standalone apps and such are all going all at the same time, you will see some slowdown and some noticeable lag. However, if you keep your resources and your expectations within reason, the experience is actually pretty good. Think uh, better than Braswell, but not quite as good as a Core M chip. Sure, animations will hiccup from time to time and there will be some perceivable lag when typing if you have too much stuff going on. But again, if you keep it within reason, a few tabs, a few windows open at once, the device gets along just fine. Battery, on the other hand, isn't as good as I'd hoped, but it's not bad either. Eight to 10 hours is expected and is realistic, but the M3 in the Chromebook Pro is getting almost that as well, so there's no real battery benefits in dropping down to the ARM processor. The big divide, at least in the early days, is how well these devices will handle Android apps. Perhaps not surprisingly, the ARM-powered Chromebook Plus did a much better job with Android apps out of the gate. Sure, Intel processors can run Android apps and have been doing so for some time, but Android app developers are likely way more inclined to make sure their apps are smooth and run well on ARM chips first, with the majority of their customer base being Android phone owners. Though less powerful overall, the Plus chews through Android apps really well, and that may matter to a lot of you. We'll follow up on this with a standalone video with some comparisons between apps and standard Chrome OS stuff running on the Plus and Pro, so you can see the difference. But for the time being, just know that Android is a little bit better on the Plus, but not much. Compared with the way The Verge portrayed Android apps on the Pro, this is a totally different experience and in a good way. Either way, do keep in mind, for the next month or two, the Android experience is still gonna be a little bit of the wild, wild west. We have a pretty firm word from Google that when the Chromebook Pro becomes available in late April, Play Store support will finally be out of beta status. At that point, we can only guess at how well it will all work together. Better than it does now, likely, but that is really only a hope, not a guarantee. So if Android apps are a buying decider for you, the slight edge is with the plus, but that edge may be a short-lived one. Here's the bottom line for many of you. If you're buying a Samsung Chromebook right now with Android apps in mind, the Plus should be where you gravitate to. You're likely to see less issue with apps for the time being and quite possibly in the future as well. If you're buying it to use as a productivity machine, you may wanna wait on the Pro. The Plus is fine for casual use in Android apps. All the good stuff from the Pro is here, minus the pure muscle. The Pro, however, is a better Chromebook, but right now not a better Android tablet type of device. Given the current state of Android on Chrome OS, that doesn't sound like that big of a loss, but as the app experience becomes more refined, we can't really definitively say that the experience on Intel powered devices won't always lag a little bit behind their ARM counterparts. It's simply unclear right now. Like we said, it's a wild, wild west. And in that climate, hopefully we've helped you make a choice between these two very, very similar devices. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe, hit that like button below, and until next time, we'll see you.